So I've got the epoxy mixed up and everybody always asks me what epoxy do I use. I like the, the rocket epoxy for making thin fillets because it's very stiff and it, it has a little bit of run but not a lot. Um, you can also use the, uh, the Bob Smith 15 minute epoxy that will work as well. Uh, pretty much any epoxy is going to work. Um, it doesn't, there's no minimum strength requirement. These parts fit together so nice that uh, they're so tight that it's not going to take much epoxy to lock everything in place. Okay, I'll make sure that that moves. So what I've gone ahead and I've done is I mixed the epoxy and then I poured it into a plastic bag. And I'm going to use this to squeeze it out. It's going to kind of use like what the, the, the you know, a, a cake maker, cake decorator does where you have it and then you can just squeeze it out. Um, so I got it in the bag and I'm just going to cut the tip off the end of the bag and then I can just squeeze it out where I want it to go. Do both sides. All right, and if you need to do cleanup, um, regular uh, rubbing alcohol works just fine. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my finger in a little alcohol and then uh, make my fillet. This allows it to slide around. And don't be afraid to get epoxy on those threads. Um, I do have a little bit of epoxy on the inside, so I'm going to make sure I rub that and smooth it out, make sure that there's no epoxy on the inside. Um, make, do the same fillet here. All right, so that's a beautiful fillet right there. All right, so now... We're going to take this and make sure that we got handles that we can adjust the length of the rope. And that's going to be slid into the tube. Make sure that the, the cord doesn't get smashed in there. Um, now this tube needs to be um, one half inch recessed into the tube um, and that's so that you can get a retainer on if it's if it's flush it's going to be fine it just means your retainer is going to be sticking out if you choose to use a retainer so i got it in there and now i'm going to take my fins and i'm going to tack these in place with super glue and I'm going to use um, the super thick variety because I don't want them moving around on me too much. Of course, it takes a little while to get down to the bottom. There we go. Okay, just make sure that that centering ring is not um, in the way of the fins going in. And then push it in and make sure it's perpendicular to the tube. And it grabbed really quick, which is really nice. Okay, so that's one fin. Um, my ring, I want to make sure I don't glue my ring into place. Make sure that that ring can still slide. All right, now we're going to do the same with the other three fins. to 
hit it with some accelerator. This is super glue accelerator that uh, instantly cures the super glue. And these are just tack glued, so they can be knocked around pretty easy. So you got to be kind of gingerly at this point. So I'm going to hang it over the edge of the table so that I don't accidentally knock a fin and, and loosen it, break it from the inside. Because then I'd have to start over. And I want to work fast here because I got my epoxy sitting here and the longer it uh, sits, the stiffer it gets. And I should have at least like about 20 minutes on this epoxy. And just double check, make sure that they're nice and straight. Okay, all right, just make sure that you can still move your ring around. Should have brought some tweezers. You kind of have to grab all four at the same time. Okay, so my ring, I can slide in and out, so that's good. All right, so now I'm going to put my epoxy fillets on my fins. come from <laughs> it's coming out of the bag <laughs> make sure it all stays down at the front end Okay, so, okay, so now let me wipe up that mess right here. Again, uh, paper towels and rubbing alcohol will take that off pretty easy. Okay, so now I want to smooth out these uh, fin fillets. So again, I'm just taking a little bit of alcohol and just sliding my finger across. And you're going to pick up some, uh, but what you leave behind is more than enough. Nice and feathered on that edge. And if you get epoxy where you don't want, just wipe it off.
You can see as I go around the front edge. Need some more alcohol. from that side. All right, so that looks pretty good. Um, I probably will be coming back and sanding it just a little bit, but right now those, those fillets look pretty good. Hopefully you can see it. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna let the epoxy cure, clean up my mess. Um, again, just double check and make sure that you can slide that ring. Um, we're gonna leave it in there until the epoxy cures. And then once we pull it out, that motor mount tube is gonna be pretty much locked into place because these fins aren't gonna be able to move that way. Um, and those fins just barely kiss the, uh, the tube itself. And we did bond them in there with, with a little bit of super glue. So um, I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll be back and start the next video.